Hi guys and welcome to another video. Uh, today I just want to give you some of our zero waste bathroom products or bathroom tips. Um, we'll just jump right into it because I don't have anything to ever say. Um, we'll start with what we use in the shower, like actually in the shower. The first thing I'm going to talk about is our bar soap. This is pretty simple. You just go buy a bar soap. This soap is Kirk's Castile soap. It's natural. It comes just wrapped in paper, so pretty easy. And they sell it at Walmart for, um, I think it's three bars for $2.97 or something like that. So it's pretty cheap. We like it. It is like unscented, so there's not, if you like a lot of fragrance, this probably isn't going to be what you want, but this works really well for all of us. Next is our shampoo bars. These actually just came in the mail today. Um, they're by a company called Soaring Suds Soaps on Etsy. We love these shampoo and conditioner bars. This is the shampoo bar. We got lemon lavender this time. It smells really, really good. We usually get coconut, so this was just something different we we're going to try. But we really like this company out of all the shampoo bars we have used um, since switching to shampoo bars. These are our favorites. Plus, I'm all about supporting um, people who make their own stuff. I think that's really cool. These are made in Michigan. Um, so they're not super local, but they're not too bad. It smells really, really good. But that's the conditioner bar. So yeah, we just have shampoo and conditioner bars. They work for everybody in the house, from my hair to... Sean, even Sean's hair, they work for everybody, and Sean is very, very particular about his hair. Um, almost obsessively so, but he is very picky, so it did take us a while to find one that he was really pleased with, and he likes this one, so. Um, I will talk about this shampoo bar. This one is from Dolly Locks. This is the one I was using on my dreads. Um, it's tea tree and spearmint. It also smells really good. I also had a nag champa one, but this that one's gone. This is what's left, and they they're pretty thick when you buy them. So this this is what's left of the one I had. Um, I will still use this on my my brushable hair. There's nothing in it that's like you that would make it so that you couldn't use it on your hair. I also like to use this one when I shave. So instead of shaving cream. I just use this because tea tree is really good for your skin so I like this. Speaking of shaving, I showed you this in another video but this is our safety razor. I probably couldn't say enough about this. This has saved us a ton of money because I paid like $20 for this razor which is pretty average um, and I bought a pack of 100 blades for $10 so yeah, ten ten dollars for a hundred blades, and we have used like twenty or thirty blades. I don't know exactly, but either way, over a year for thirty dollars, and there's no plastic. You just take the blades to the recycling center. That's pretty easy. Sorry, um, we just use a loofah instead of like the plastic loofahs. Sean does still have a plastic loofah that he's had forever and ever and ever and he keeps mending it because he does not want to get rid of it because he likes that better than a loofah or a washcloth. So he will probably keep fixing that until he dies. I don't know. He'll probably use it forever and ever and ever. But um, this is my loofah. It's just a loofah. And in case you didn't already know, this is just a gourd that you can grow. So we are actually ordering loofah seeds um, from Baker's Creek so that we can grow our own loofah and hopefully by next year we will be growing our own loofah for washing dishes or for washing our bodies or scrubbing anything you need to scrub. So that's pretty cool. We're going to try to grow our own so I'm sure you'll see that in our garden videos. And that's pretty much all we do in the shower. Wash your hair, wash your body, shave your legs, maybe. Um, yeah, that's our shower 
super easy. There's nothing to it. There's nothing in there. Um, once we get out of the shower, I do put body oil on. This is a body oil that I made myself. I've had this bottle forever, but um, I just keep refilling it with this oil. This is almond oil, uh, frankincense, sandalwood, patchouli, lavender, and jojoba oil. I mix them all together in this bottle and I just just spray it on. I have really bad dry skin in the winter so this um, kind of helps me from digging all my skin off. So yeah, I just, and it smells really good to me. Uh, I have a different one that I make um, to put on my back because I do have back problems. Um, so I have this one as kind of a muscle rub, but it doesn't really have anything to do with me showering. I do have some body butter that I bought, oh my gosh, like two years ago. And it's still like halfway full. Um, so I do have this. I do still use it. Um, we're going to use it up. It smells really, really good. It's called. It's by a company called Earthly Body. Um, pretty cool company. Um, it's a company that I used. Um, like they, They're partners with the Marrakesh Hair Company. So um, that's what I used in the shop. I used Marrakesh products. And so I got this at a hair show from them like two years ago and I just haven't used it up yet so all right put the body oil on ah deodorant next up is deodorant this is the deodorant that we use it's by primal pit paste we did try making our own deodorant however that made me break out in a rash under my arms and it was pretty awful so I don't make mine anymore I am still looking for recipes for Maybe like sensitive skin deodorant, maybe one with less baking soda in it because I've been told that too much baking soda can give you that rash. So I will probably eventually start making my own again, but this is what we use for now. It's all natural, vegan, blah, 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 blah. It's super awesome. This is a glass jar. It smells, it smells so good. It smells like jasmine. I really like this company and we're going to save the jars for something. We'll end up doing something with them. Um, my teeth. So this is, this is our teeth thing. I guess my, my toothbrush isn't like the most zero waste because I don't use the bamboo toothbrushes, but that's because I said it in my other video, we were using bamboo toothbrushes for about a year, but we were noticing uh, dental problems. Um, they just weren't agreeing with us very well. So we found an alternative. I have these Norwex toothbrushes. They're pretty cool. You just, like I said, if you didn't see them in my other video, you just, oh, can't get it to do it. If you didn't see in my other video, you just pop the bristles off and so you only have to replace the bristles um, every so often. You don't have to actually replace your whole toothbrush. You just keep this forever and ever and ever. So yeah, yeah. that works out really well. And it is a low waste alternative yeah. that m helps me maintain our oral health. Because I, like I said, if you can use bamboo toothbrushes, great. I'm so happy. Please do. They're awesome. They just weren't working for us. So these are a better option for us toothpaste. This is David's natural toothpaste. It's fluoride free. I said placed. Um, toothpaste. It's fluoride free, sulfate free. This whole tube is metal. Uh, this metal tube is completely recyclable and I really like this. And it comes with a tube key. Um, for me it's just like using hair color. But um you just crank it down and you can actually get all of it out which is also a plus from using plastic toothpaste because you can never get all the toothpaste out this way you're gonna get all the toothpaste out recycle this metal can this metal tube and you're good to go I really like this toothpaste I really like this company yeah so there's my toothpaste David's so this I literally just got this because I just cut my hair so I haven't used it a whole lot yet but I do like it so far it is an adjustment 
I should tell you what it is first. It's um, natural hair pomade bar or natural pomade bar. Um, it just looks like this and you just kind of warm it up with your fingers and you can get some on your fingers and then mold it through your hair. It, like I said, I just got started on it and it is ha it has been a little bit of an adjustment because I am a hairstylist so I am used to that, that kind of product so I was I'm used to a product with more hold with more control um, versus this which is more natural and it's a little looser it's not so I don't know how to explain it it's not so the way it is but it does work really good and I think I'll keep using it because it works it's got soy wax shea butter jojoba oil and fragrance because this is Nag Champa scented I like it it's pretty good I'll keep it I'll keep it the last thing I want to talk about is your face or my face actually this is my charcoal face bar it is just bar soap that's for your face it's got charcoal in it which is really good for cleaning out your pores and I mean that's really all there is to, to say about it I got this off Etsy I can't remember the shop that I ordered it from but I will link everything that I showed you that I didn't make myself down below it doesn't really have a smell it just it's just a charcoal cleaning bar I use that on my face to remove makeup and to moisturize I have yet another oil blend that I use this one is almond oil tea tree lavender and clary sage um, it works really well when my daughter has breakouts she uses this and it seems to work pretty well on her face also even though it's oil on breakouts which seems like it would be counterproductive but it actually works pretty well so I don't wash my face every single day that would be very drying to my skin but I do put this on my face every single day um and I, I seriously think other than this don't look at this because I touch my chin too much I'm constantly touching my chin so my chin breaks out regardless but this stuff has I feel like helped my skin a lot um, I use these with it in fact this one's the one I used a little earlier to take some raccoon eyes off my face um, yeah I just put a little bit of the oil on this and I just you know just do this take it off take your makeup off it works pretty well so these are just cotton um, reusable cotton rounds I'm not really sure where I got these from either Amazon or Etsy a while back um, I don't use a toner I don't use a lot of other stuff I do sometimes make clay mask with bentonite clay and charcoal um, but I don't have any of that here I actually think it's still in the bathroom of our old house but I do still have some somewhere and I do sometimes make face masks for myself but I haven't done that recently the last thing I'm going to show you is something you really don't need and I really probably didn't need but it is this little uh, pore suction blackhead remover I was pretty much addicted to those pore strips where you pull out all the blackheads in your nose um, I use them probably way too often I've always had a really bad problem with blackheads on my nose I don't really get I sometimes get them on my chin but like I said I touch my I touch my chin too much um, but I do get them on my nose ever since I was a teenager I never really had acne but I've always had really bad blackheads on my nose so I've always been really addicted to trying to get those out I've had a one of the metal extractors and I would like mash my nose to pieces with it and I had the pore strips I was using like I said way too often so I bought this to try to well in order to not buy the pore strips anymore I bought this and this works really well actually and I got it on Amazon and it wasn't very expensive but it actually works really good I have to stop myself from using it so much because it I mean you can overdo it but yeah the first time I used this I got really grossed out with all the gunk that I got out of my nose but that's it 
this keeps me from buying wasteful pore strips, so I do have this. This is something I use. But, oh! Okay, so the very, very last thing I want to talk to you about, I almost completely forgot about it, but I wanted to talk about toilet paper because that's something we use in the bathroom. Um, this is our toilet paper. It is from, a, this is actually our emergency roll. I love, look at this, this is so cute. But this is our toilet paper. It's from a company called Who Gives a Crap. Um, you can get this toilet paper pretty cheap. Um, well, in my opinion, it's cheap. I've talked to other people and they do not think it is cheap, but toilet paper has always been something I wouldn't skimp on and I wouldn't buy like off-brand toilet paper. I'm very picky about my toilet paper. Um, this is bamboo. They have, they also have a recycled like box that you can order. I think they come 48 rolls to a at, at a time, which usually lasts the four of us about, about three and a half months. Um, but yeah, they just, it comes in a cardboard box with just paper. There is no plastic involved. Um, it's really good toilet paper. Like I said, we get the bamboo kind. The recycled is like, I think $10 cheaper or something like that. Um, not a hundred percent, but we do use the bamboo because we were using a bamboo toilet paper prior to this. So I have never even tried out the recycling. I could not tell you how good or bad it is. I just know that I really like this one. Um, yeah, it's a pretty awesome company. Um, I think like a portion of their proceeds, I'm not sponsored and I don't know all of their stuff, but I, a portion of their proceeds go to building toilets in places where they don't have toilets, which is it's pretty cool. But yeah, toilet paper. Zero waste toilet paper. Because my family said hell no to family cloth. And we don't have a bidet, so. Oh well. But that's that. That's what we use in our bathroom. I hope you liked this video. I hope it sparked something or taught you something or made you go, oh, gross. I don't want to hear about your shower. But anyway, um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below if you have any comments or things you would add or things that you want to try. Um, put them in the comments below and I will get to them, I promise. And as always, if you want to follow me on Instagram at LP underscore the Dreadhead Mermaid or on Facebook as just the Dreadhead Mermaid. Um, obviously not a Dreadhead anymore, but they will be coming back, I promise. But... Y'all be good.